And here's an example of how to find the height reached by projectile when we shoot it from the ground at a, with an initial velocity of 20 meters per second and an angle of 40 degrees with the horizontal. Okay, again, we use this approach where we first want to find the X and Y components. So here's the V initial in the X direction, which is equal to V initial times the cosine of theta. In this case, that's going to be 20 meters per second times the cosine of 40 degrees. And for the Y component, we have V initial in the Y direction equals V initial times the sine of theta, or in this case, 20 meters per second times the sine of 40 degrees. So let's get a calculator and find out what those are. So we have uh, 40, take the cosine, times 20, and so we get 15.3 meters per second. So this is 15.3 meters per second. And for the y direction, we get uh, 40 times the sine times 20, and we get 12.9 meters per second. Actually, in this particular problem, we didn't need to find the x component, but I just do it as a general practice. All right, now the next thing is realizing that when I reach the maximum height, the velocity in the y direction uh, is going to be zero momentarily. So I can use this equation at v in the y direction squared is equal to v initial in the y direction squared plus 2 times acceleration g times the change in the height, or in this simply h, because it goes from zero to the maximum height. I can solve this for h by saying that 2gh is equal to v sub y squared minus v sub naught y squared. So v sub y squared minus v sub naught y squared. Notice I moved this to the other side, made a negative, turn the equation around, and then divide both sides by 2g. And there it is. There's the equation. So v sub naught in the y direction, we get to the very top. So this would be v sub y. That's going to be 0 at the top right here. So this becomes 0. And so this becomes equal to minus v initial in the y direction, which is 12.9 meters per second squared, divided by 2 times a minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So let's square this, divide by 2, divide by 9.8, and we get 8.4 meters. So h equals 8.4 meters. Final answer. Now remember, in the previous video, we did the general approach of this, and we came up with a general equation that told us that the height was equal to v initial squared times the sine of theta squared, all divided by 2g, g being a positive 9.8, so that's where we got rid of the negative sign. Let's, use the Let's go ahead and use that equation and see if we get the very same answer. So this would be equal to the initial velocity squared, which was 20 squared times the sine of 40 degrees squared divided by 2 times 9.8. Let's see if we get the same result. It's always neat to try two different ways and see if we get the same result. So we take the sine of that, we square that number, we multiply it times 400, divided by 2, divided by 9.8 equals, and I get 8.4. And, yes indeed, the exact same answer. So here you can see that there's two different ways in which you can solve it. You can use the general approach or you can use the specific equation that we found by using the general approach on the general statement. All right, that is how you find the height of a projectile.